Have you heard of a girl's body being found in a suitcase near the south side? Can't say that I have. And I think that's the issue. But I feel like we'll be seeing each other more often in the coming months. Why would that ever be the case, Owen? You'll see. There's no reasoning with you, Pacho. I'll just get out of your hair. Good. I don't want to see you in here again. Most of all, I don't ever want to see you anywhere near my mother. What I know for sure is that Nono needs to be taking a break from his position as CEO if he wants his mental health to be intact. Lorenzo, I need to speak with you. What is it, Clarice? We've never discussed this before. In fact, we should have discussed this a long time ago. Discuss what? When do you plan to step down as CEO of Russo Jewelers? Hello, Isabel. I'm surprised you called me here to speak with you. What are you doing here, Gianni? To check up on you? About what? Haven't you seen the news, Heidi? Spit it out. What news? Owen, please leave my office. I'm trying to speak with my husband. I can take a guess as to what your husband wants to tell you. What does everyone seem to know that I don't? I have announced that I'll be running as a candidate for district attorney. How did your meeting with Pacho go? Pacho explained that he won't stop me from covering the story about the girl whose body was found in the suitcase. But he's going to sabotage me if that's the first story I cover on my program. Where is this coming from? For starters, you're 74 years old. I know that you still have plenty of time left, but you're old enough to consider what will happen in the future. You can clearly see that I'm physically and mentally capable to keep running this company, Clarice. Are you sure? What are you trying to tell me? A lot has happened this past month, Lorenzo. Maximilian was hurt and you have this bitter attitude towards Esidor and Alan. I think you should at least take a break so that you can get this house in order. I just want to make it clear that Pacho doesn't get to decide who I do or don't allow into my life. Does that mean you're open to allowing me back into your life, Isabel? What I'm trying to tell you is that I don't agree with Pacho's methods, but it's best for me to stay away from you while I'm still mourning Ulyssa. From here on out, I promise to give you your space. But I would also like you to understand that I never tried to manipulate you at all after Ulyssa lost her life. Can you repeat that? I don't think I should have to repeat myself when I made my announcement on the local news. Let me fill you in on something. As district attorney myself, I live an extremely busy life. And by this time next year, you won't have to be too busy. Luckily, the Rousseaus decided to keep you in the fold after your infidelity which means that you get to enjoy retirement. He can't do that. GNP is Pacho's company. He can, Ben. Since my program hasn't even aired yet, I still have no influence. Since I'm still a Russo, I do have influence. Maybe I should have a word with him. Don't. I don't want to make things any worse than they already are. At the moment, I'll just prepare to gather everything I need to discuss violence in schools but I'll use some of my free time to find out all I can about this unidentified girl. You just need to trust me, Clarice. Nothing can be done to make me look at Asadora and Al in the same way again. How come? What did they do to make you so angry? I would like to spare you from looking at your son and grandson in a different light. Our son, our grandson. Didn't Elvira's passing teach you that your family is valuable, Lorenzo? Even though Elvira caused a lot of grief when she was alive, she would have never done what Esidor and Alan did. Believe it or not, Esidor, I was thinking about when the two of us were together. Good times, right? During that time, you still hurt a lot of people, but you would have never even dreamed of hurting me intentionally. 
Even thinking back to when you and Alan tried to take over Theodosius's palace, I came to realize that you didn't intend to harm me. I'm glad that you finally realized that. But it's also clear that you and I can't control ourselves when we're alone, especially when I'm trying to adjust to the fact that Ulyssa is no longer here. Does that mean that there's a chance for us to start over again in the future? You better watch who you're speaking to, Grant. I can handle him, Gianni. Is that it, Owen? Did you see the scandal in my family as the perfect opportunity to run against me? The reason why I'm running for district attorney is to offer Valley Park a fresh new sense of hope after what occurred at the high school. Just like the town officials decided that Finnegan Burke no longer needed to serve as police commissioner. Let me make something clear to you. I'm nowhere near ready to retiring. Besides, I support the decision for Finnegan losing his position since he could have prevented Ulyssa Torres from losing her life. All right, maybe I spoke out of turn. How about you see this as a perfect opportunity to run for a higher office, such as the mayor, if that's something which interests you, D.A. Russo. Where do you plan to start looking for any information? Since she was found near the south side, I think the best thing to do is find out what girl has been missing from the south side. Thankfully, I still have connections to that part of town. You don't mention your life in the south side much, Quinlan, because I don't like thinking about it. Growing up in a rough neighborhood like the south side that was plagued with poverty and crime, it wasn't easy. Do you want me to tag along? Thanks for the offer, Ben. But I know my neighborhood. I can handle it on my own. Nona? What's wrong? You were right about Shinono. He is angry and unreasonable. What did he say to you? Enough for me to realize that I should have never doubted you, Alan. I know Lorenzo won't like it, but it's time for him to step down as CEO of Russo Jewelers. And I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that happens. That's not a question I can answer at the moment. As you already know, I've waited for you for over 20 years, and you know that I'll continue to wait for you as long as I need to. Do you think that the citizens of Valley Park would vote me in as mayor if I lose to you? I'm not running as mayor, D.A. Russo, but isn't that your goal? To reach as high as you can to make a name for yourself in this town? My end goal is to see Valley Park heal from its darkest moment. You don't even know anyone who has been personally impacted. I know Wanda. Yeah, and she dropped you. Now get out of my office. Okay, guess I'll have to wait a year to make this office my own. Are you okay, Heidi? I'm ready, Gianni. I'm ready for whatever Owen is planning to throw at me. All right, I'll let you handle this, Quinlan. But I'm here for you with whatever you might need. Thanks, Ben. I really do appreciate your support. I know that this story interests you, but are you sure that there is nothing more to why you feel so connected to it? Let's just say that I could have ended up like that girl when I was her age. <laughs>